Why, hello there. So, here I was going through my Dark Souls 1 clips again, and looking at the Manus fight, big boy Manus, daddy of the abyss, which was a great atmospheric area once again, god damn, this, this game really nails the horror fantasy atmosphere, man. Eldering feels more high fantasy, but uh, yeah. Plus the whole concept of undead, uh, regaining tranquil ground to their humanity, regaining their souls. I kind of like it more than Tarish becoming the Elder Lord. Well, both are fine anyway. Anyway, the force that crossed my mind as I was fighting this guy was that more than the Arturias I've heard so much about, this was one of the most eldering like bosses I faced in this whole game. And uh, by eldering like bosses, what I mean is multiple combos, highly aggressive, less downtime, and also something else that Arturias didn't have. Harder to figure out. This was especially a topic of debate for Shadow of the Earth 3, as many bosses had flashy attacks that blocked your uh, vision and they were harder to figure out. Obviously, eventually you would you get to the same point. Consort Radan was particularly notorious of this and we know he was nerfed and one of his nerfs was particularly his flashbangs. And to me, this boss felt harder to figure out. Like here, for instance, I thought he'd hit me. Yet apparently I was far away enough from him. I just got used to all the Elder Ring gap closers. <laughs> where I roll or block or parry whatever after every single movement I see. In a sense, I'm actually glad the spacing still matters in this game. I kind of miss that in Elden Ring expansion. Uh, So yeah, I look at this guy, he's destructive and he's hyper aggressive, I mean, I can think of Elder bosses that aren't as, as aggressive as this guy. And the point I want to make here is that to me, as someone who doesn't have Dark Souls nostalgia, and I played Elder Ring first, an expansion, then went to this, this was my first time encountering this boss, was that I see this idea that FromSoft always wanted to make bosses more like Elder Rings. After all, a look at the transition from base game Elder Ring to Shadow of the Earth 3. Uh, they doubled down on a lot of the flashy anime like multi-hit combos, flipping in air, mid-air slashes or whatever attacks that some of the base game Elder Ring bosses have. The Malikevs, the Melanias, the Radagons of the world, something like that. So to me it was clear that this is the direction they might have always wanted to take their games in. Or at least that's how it seems. I mean Miyazaki was at the helm of all of them, wasn't it? Besides for Dark Souls 2. I'm eager to play that one. And 3, but I'm especially eager to play Dark Souls 2 because I hear so many conflicted opinions about it. It's always an interesting trip to the past, you know, see what worked, so you, some of your favorite games could run. But yeah, look at this boss. You know what's the key difference between this and the um, Elder Ring boss? The fact that his damage is not so over the top. I mean, I thought I expected to be dead there, and then I see him comboing me, lift me up from the air, and I'm like, oh, I'm alive. Okay, guess we keep going. We keep chugging and keep going. So yeah, like I hear some people say I would like Dark Souls made in modern times and I'm sitting here thinking that's eldering because I see the concept of design choices for many things, you know, just the obvious uh, world design, the soul recovery slash rune mechanic, but of the highly aggressive bosses too. They always wanted to make stuff like this in my opinion. They just either didn't have the resources, the technology, the money to create them. Some people say it's an arts race against an ever-improving player base. I 
I don't completely disagree with that, but I just think they always wanted to make bosses like this too. Or at least the further they progressed with the series. I know not all bosses are like that. Maybe the thing that prevented people from getting this idea was the fact that either their damage wasn't that high so you wouldn't feel insta gibbed. It's way harder to learn something when you insta die or insta kill it. That's one of the hardest ways to learn. Heck, I think one of the easiest ways to learn is when both you and the boss I can just continuously trade blows with each other. That's why I use to learn. And ridders of that terrible primeval human. And yeah. Of the abyss, and another thing I is that maybe that everything was still much surprise. slower. This wasn't uh, exactly a critique for me as much as an observation. I have enjoyed my times with both games and I've also had uh, some issues with both games. I feel that many people see different things in these games while it wasn't really like that for me. I saw the same ideas in their infant state and then in their more modern state. Whether one was better than the other, I don't think we'll ever reach a conclusion. I just think it'll be down to preferences.